today is Saturday. Trevor was supposed to come over to help me build some sluice boxes, but he's got other things to do. But fire last night was pretty good. Fedora brought over this, the Dandy Brewing Company in the black midwinter black IPA, or should I say in the bleak midwinter black IPA. This is some really good beer right here. All sorts of stuff being drank. Busted out the mower today. The Ryobi 40 volts supposed to be brushless and it's supposed to be gas like power, but we will see. Battery doesn't come charged, and I have no clue how long a 40 volt battery will take to charge. It's 5 amp hours, so we'll see. In the meantime, yeah, did you guys notice? Got my hair cut and got my beard trimmed up because I'm heading to the Dominican next week for my brother's wedding. So it's gonna be a pretty good time. I've never been to the Dominican. Been to Mexico a few times. I've been to Cuba a few times. So the Dominican will be something new and exciting for well, me. Well, it's time to get down to business. I'm gonna copy the design of this one here. The problem is is that this was buried over the winter time and I thought 16 gauge which this is would be too thick so I bought 18 gauge and now when I compare it that's quite a bit thinner and this is gonna be a lot flimsier which means I'm gonna have to do like a double lip on my sluice box to get some strength so well, let's start off with getting the main piece bent, at least. So I'm going to need to come up with something to make this a little bit more sturdier. So this fold, this line is going to be bent over. And that'll give me... I think that's... 5 inches, yeah. Matt's going to run on top. And then when this is folded over, it's going to make the side stronger. But we still have the... You're still going to have the issue with the flexing at this point here. So these aluminum tubes are the ones I'm going to use for the, the legs and the frame. And if we have a look at the other one here, you can kind of see those legs go out. But what I might do on mine is run another bar going across just to strengthen it up there. I'm not too sure yet. Gonna have to figure that out. Now I bent that over 90, so I gotta pull it out, and then we're gonna see if we can bend it flat. So I'm just using the brake now to flatten it, and I'll release it, and I'll go up, and I'll crush it right near that seam, and that should flatten it right out. Oh, a couple things we learned. We won't do a double bend this full length again. Not only is it extremely hard to try to get it to crimp down, also doesn't do a very good job. Tried doing other methods where coming down on the side, which is working okay, but it's putting little dents in it, so it's not really what I want. And also, when it says this is 16 gauge max and that's 18, yeah, they're really telling you you can't do anything more than that because you can see these fingers start to flex. So I'm finding out my limitations. Plus, it's my real first time using it, so there's lots to learn, lots to screw up. And that battery is still not fully charged yet, and I want to cut my grass.
now the first part's done. Got my dream mat fitted in. So the water run down here, I gotta build another plate that's gonna come up and just over top of this. And this is probably gonna be held in with, I'm not sure yet, a couple screws or something. I'm not sure how I'm gonna hold this in place yet. I gotta figure that out. Or maybe I'll just put like a lip or something in the front. Well, this is gonna be interesting. I've never plasma cuttered aluminum before and the guys at work, the welders said that you can plasma cut aluminum really easy, it just cuts like butter. So I guess we're gonna find out. Let's get that generator fired up so we can operate the plasma cutter. Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed. It cut it off pretty smooth. A couple little hiccups right there, but that'll just buff out. I'm not sure how the time lapse portion is going to turn out with doing this. I want to get my measurements as perfect as possible because I just put those pieces in there because I needed to get my bend right so that would fit inside so when it closes up that's how much room we got it's looking all right this larger piece actually fits perfectly and I'm thinking about just riveting it inside for some extra strength when you're throwing the rocks on there. It'll double the thickness up like it is right there. It'll be nice and strong then. Well, it looks like the mower battery's finally charged up. I'm gonna go try that out. Like somebody wants outside. Mr. Domcat, what were you doing? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? You're hungry? You want some food first? You want some food? I know, you're mad. Because your human was outside and you weren't. All right, motherfucking beer time. We're going to drink some chill coot and kill this video. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's by far the best beer in the world. Chill coot. So we made okay progress on the sluice. A couple of mistakes I made. Next time I'm just going to go full out 16 gauge and be done with it. That way I won't have to modify it or add some extra strength which is okay this one will last a year easily but the plans for in the future we're gonna build a frame for that at least start getting that cut tomorrow i also got the aluminum spool gun for the esau welder but before we can bust out the spool gun i'll need to build the metal grate for the back of that sluice and then i'll have to go get some more flat bar aluminum too make the mount to go up and down for the elevation so there's still quite a bit of things to do <sighs> probably another good day day and a half at least working on it we'll see we will see anyways it's motherfucking beer time trevor's coming over tonight fedora might be coming over tonight so and tom cats meowing and probably pretty good chance that uh 
Gonna have a fire, drink some more beers, so stay tuned for some extra footage perhaps.